This video is how to use Venus Protocol, which is a lending and borrowing market on the Binance Smart Chain. On Venus Protocol, you can lend uh, crypto out, you can borrow crypto, and obviously pay fees for doing that. This is a DeFi protocol on the Binance Smart Chain. We're gonna go through the protocol itself, how to use it, how to get set up and connect a wallet, um, and then how to uh, lend and borrow it on there as well. So I'll leave the timestamps for everything down in the description below. Firstly, though, we need to just have an overview of what Venus is and what it supports. So Venus is essentially a fork of Compound Finance. Compound Finance is over on Ethereum. This is a fork of that. So they take the code and just put it on Binance Smart Chain, obviously lower fees. Venus, though, is actually integrated into the Binance app itself. Um, so you can use this through the Binance app. You'll actually click through to Venus Protocol. This is decentralized, though. Um, you can see the total supply right now is around a billion dollars on here. So it is definitely smaller than Compound and Aave, if you've ever seen those. It's, it's smaller as a market. There's 360 million borrowed right now, and then there's almost 700 million in what's called available liquidity. That means essentially that 700 million has been put onto the platform and only 360 million is borrowed. Because this is decentralized, everything has to be done on an, on an over collateralized basis. And so um, essentially people that borrow put more money on the account then they're allowed to borrow. And if you're lending, um, then obviously you can just be sure that they're never gonna kind of not be able to pay back. Um, so that's the overview of the market. And you can see the assets that are supported down here. You can all see all these, the total supply, uh, and then the APY that you get for lending, um, and then the APY that you would have to pay if you borrow and the size of the market here, which is the liquidity. First thing you can do is connect your wallet to the protocol that's in the top right hand corner. I've already connected um, just a test wallet of mine. So you can click here to connect. You can see I've got MetaMask here, but all of these are um, supported. So use what it, whichever wallet you want. Um, now, if you don't know how to add Binance Smart Chain to MetaMask or use MetaMask, I'll leave those videos in the description. But what we have right now is your dashboard. And so you can see my account right here. This wallet that I have doesn't have anything in here. Um, but if you have assets on the platform that are being lent out, you can see them here and you can see your net APY. That's how much you're earning, your daily earnings, how much you have supplied. And if you do borrow against assets, how much you're actually uh, borrowing. Now, this is really important right down here, which is the borrow limit. So what you can see is this red line. And essentially, let's say you had $1,000 worth of Bitcoin on there. You're only allowed to borrow let's say seven or $800 worth of something else against that. So this is a buffer. Now this buffer is always there. And if the value of Bitcoin falls to around this uh, layer level right here, they're going to automatically sell out of your collateral to pay back the loan. Because this is decentralized, that's how it works. And there's, there's kind of no way around that. So if you are borrowing, obviously keep that in mind. But you can see on the left-hand side, you have the supply market. That's if you send coins in to earn interest. On the right-hand side, you have the borrow market. So this is how you get assets onto Venus Protocol to either lend or borrow. So Venus Protocol is on the Binance Smart Chain, which means all of these assets are what's known as BEP20 tokens on the Binance Smart Chain. What you notice here is that there are some assets that don't really belong on this chain. For example, Cardano ADA, which is a completely different chain. You also have um, assets like Bitcoin right here. This is actually BTCB, which is Binance's version, BTC BEP20 right here. Um, and then a few others like Dogecoin, right? So these are different blockchains, but obviously there are versions of them on the Binance Smart Chain. So what you'll need to do is come and get your MetaMask up. Like I said, if you don't know how to use that, that link's in the description, that, that video there. You wanna copy your wallet address and then come over to Binance. Um, you are gonna need Binance for this because they can actually withdraw different tokens over the Binance Smart Chain via BEP20. So I've got the coin right here. Now what I wanna do is put the address in. Now this is not a Bitcoin address. This is my Binance Smart Chain MetaMask address. Now what you can see down here via the network is that it gives me two options. Obviously uh, Ethereum because the Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain addresses are the same. I don't wanna you know, withdraw it on Ethereum. I wanna withdraw it on Binance Smart Chain right here you can see that uh, it takes five minutes and it will cost 11 cents. It also says the network you selected may not be supported, but I'm sure about that. Now, this is going to be BNB Smart Chain, so a BEP20 version of Bitcoin. So this is BTCB that will actually come into my MetaMask account. It's not Bitcoin exactly, but it's a one-for-one -one, uh, wrapped version of that. When you withdraw that to your MetaMask, 
Once that's deposited, then you will see that actually that will come up as BTCB. So what this allows you to do is keep exposure to the price of Bitcoin, but use it on Venus protocol to actually, um, you know, lend and earn some passive income on. What are the dangers of doing that? Well, you have to trust Venus protocol itself and you have to trust that Binance have enough Bitcoin to back the value of their wrapped version of Bitcoin. They actually do have a website that shows you how much Bitcoin they have in a cold wallet. So, you know, you do have to trust, um, you know, Binance uh, running things and they have the Bitcoin in the cold wallet, but you can check all of the amounts that they have to back the value of that wrapped version of Bitcoin. Um, but that's kind of how wrapped, you know, wrapping works anyway. But what, what we want to do is obviously go and lend out some money. So um, once you have assets in your account, now, like I said, this is a burner wallet, but I do have, you know, 0.37 BNB in here. So this shows you that if you do have assets on account, it will show you how much of each asset that you have. And then right here is the APY that you're going to be earning on each of these tokens. Now, what you'll see is that um, all of these APYs are variable. So they're going to change each day dependent on supply and demand within this money market. And of course, in crypto in general, because the money markets are connected and so arbitrages can make differences. So what you can see is Arbe pays about 6.47% right now, Matic 5%. You may get better or worse um, passive income from various different you know, strategies and platforms. BNB paying 1.37% right now. So that's just if you supply. So if I click on this, you may have to enable this. There may be a button down here saying um, enable the, the asset before you do that. So you just have to enable it right here. MetaMask will pop up. You have to click confirm. Now, if you want to supply, you just come down here and click how much you want to supply. So you can click max or any amount that you want. And it gives you this supply APY and distribution APY. Supply APY is the amount that you're actually getting from the money market. So obviously borrowers have to pay more than you get. And so you're getting 0.6% from the actual money market itself. Now what Venus do, because it's a new protocol, they're basically bootstrapping adoption here and they're paying you uh, extra in their own token. So you're getting 0.78% in the XVS or the, the Venus token. Now that goes into a, a kind of different account that you have to claim. So overall, if you add those two up, what are you getting? 1.4%, I think it was. Yeah, 1.37%. So you're getting some in BNB and some in the XVS token. You may or may not want to do this. Do you want exposure to XVS? Well, maybe not, or you can just think of it as an extra bonus that you have. At some point in the future, they will stop paying this APY when the token uh, supply has you know, been used up. Um, but essentially what you have to do then is just put how much you want to supply in right there. Um, and it will tell you essentially what you're gonna supply. Click supply right here. You'll have to go through and pay for that transaction through MetaMask. Um, so MetaMask will pop up if I see that and you can confirm or reject the transaction. I'm just going to reject the transaction right here. But if you confirmed it, that would be going through. And then up here, it would show you your account, how much you have in daily earnings and net APY on your account and how much you have supplied. Once you have assets on account, the system will, of course, let you borrow against them. Um, now, this is over collateralized lending, which means for every dollar that you want to borrow, you have to have at least $1.50 or $1.30 on account. So you have to put more money on your account to collateralize the loan that you have than you can get back in the loan. The reason for this is because this is decentralized, meaning that essentially it's all automated. If you have a loan of a dollar and you have collateral of $1.50, all's good. If your collateral falls in value down to around $1.20, that's going to be not enough collateral. And so what will happen if you're borrowing like that is that the protocol will automatically sell the collateral that you have to pay back your loan and increase the amount of um, collateral that you have in relation to your loan. This is all automatic. You will not get emails. This is completely decentralized and, and that's how that money market works. So obviously people that do borrow have to manage their collateral and not borrow too much. Like I said at the start, this red line will show you exactly you know, what your health is if you do want to borrow. Borrow market's very simple. You can come on the right hand side and you can see the APY to borrow. And you, you might think, well, actually we're, we're paying less to borrow than we're getting in interest. Well, essentially what XVS is doing here is incentivizing you to borrow. So if you click on borrow, you can see 80% limit. So if I had a thousand dollars of um, BNB or, or whatever other collateral, I can borrow about 80% of that value. That will take us up to the red line. Um, now, what you can see here is that you have to pay 3.03% to borrow BNB coin on this platform, 
but XVS or the Venus protocol is incentivizing you to use their protocol right now. And they're actually paying you 3.16% in their tokens in order to borrow. You're actually almost getting paid to borrow. Now, there are some risks here. Firstly, yes, you will be getting a distribution in the XVS token, but that's a risk asset. And so that can very easily fall down. Uh, and so that 3% may not be 3%, right? So you have to take that into a consideration and you may not want to actually get these tokens anyway. And so, you know, that's maybe seen as a bonus or just an extra incentive to, to get you to borrow on there. But you click borrow, you click how much you want to borrow. Uh, and then, you know, just click accept and go through MetaMask on that. And then you'll have that as a borrow. Now, if you're what if you want to repay, come over to the right hand side if you're borrowing and then you can repay how much. Essentially, you just kind of put more collateral on and pay off some of the loan at the same time. Um, so you can click an amount of the loan that you want to pay off right here or you just choose, you know, I want to pay off 20 BNB or something like that, whatever it is. Um, and it will show you um, essentially what your health factor is. So the more you pay off, the more um, the collateral versus loans will, will start coming down. You just click that to obviously go and put the asset on. Um, so that is how you add collateral and borrow against it. You can choose how much you wanna borrow um, and you'll be borrowing essentially in this right here, which is VI. VI is a stable coin, much like DAI on Ethereum, which is essentially a stable coin that tracks the US dollar, but it's backed by risk assets. Um, so it's a little bit complex, but essentially VI will have a one for one value with the dollar, right? So if you're putting Binance token on here, you're borrowing dollars against it. And so uh, you'll be getting VI. Now, obviously, VI is over collateralized, meaning for every one dollar of VI, there's like $150 of risk assets and everything is um, over collateralized and will get sold off if the collateral ratio obviously comes down. You can click to enable VI um, and then you can mint VI right here, which is obviously you know, just putting some of these assets on to actually mint it. That goes into your uh, MetaMask wallet. And then obviously that VIA, you can do whatever you want with it. You can switch it for USDC or you can use it across Binance Smart Chain DeFi. Something else we can do is use XVS tokens in various different ways. The first one is to use the vault. So if you come to the left hand side and click vault, uh, you have a few options here, essentially just to earn extra. So right down at the bottom, you can see stake XVS. This is just where you have XVS tokens and you can stake them into the protocol uh, and they will give you a staking reward. Now, right now that is paid by token emissions. In the future, uh, they hope this protocol will obviously be a profitable protocol taking fees off of borrowers. Uh, and they'll pay most of those fees back to the XVS token or use those fees to buy back XVS token to raise its price. But for right now, XVS tokens, as you can see, if you just uh, do this drop down box. If you have any XVS tokens that are being paid to you um, as part of those incentives, you can claim them here. And you can also just simply stake right here. You can enable and then stake your XVS tokens. And for right now, they're paying 11.5% APR. Obviously, if you have a uh, VI as well, you can stake that right here for 2%. If you do want to get some of those BEP20 tokens, I'll leave the link to Binance uh, in the description. You can sign up and obviously uh, use Binance to withdraw on the Binance smart chain. I'm James with MoneyCG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.